Morning kids. Good afternoon. I'm Mike. You're you. And welcome to my training vlog. I look kind of good in this lighting. You guys like this? Thumbs up or comment below if you really liked Phantom Menace growing up. If you're like a millennial like me, I'm 32. And you saw Phantom Menace and played Pod Racer on N64 and thought that was the coolest shit ever. And then you like grow up and you're like in your teens or your 20s and you let the world tell you that Phantom Menace was trash. And then all of a sudden, now you're 32 and Phantom Menace is kind of dope again. I'm not speaking for me. I've always thought Phantom Menace was dope. Jar Jar Binks is turned up. Young Annie's way better than Teenage Annie. Padawan Obi-Wan is the inspiration for my look. But for some reason, the culture said that those movies sucked. When in truth, they don't. They're a little more like child-friendly than the original three, obviously. But they're good. And rant. So today's a bodybuilding day. I got um, arms, crap, I messed up my sticker. It's launch week, fam. Things have been absolute chaos in here. So launch week means counting inventory, taking product photos, updating the website, and then promoting, marketing, plus all the fulfillment. We actually just got new orders in. I'm gonna have to fill them right in the meow. I know that sounded like a weird flex. We could edit that out, but I was literally just looking at the computer. So I appreciate all the support, man. Y'all are absolutely insane. Um, every single launch, we break records, and uh, that feels good. It feels good that you guys got my back. It feels good that the decade of making content like has like a reason, kind of. And it feels good that it seems like y'all fuck with what I design. And so I'm doing my best to not only make the designs, logos, graphics sick, but to literally make the best quality clothing I can. A lot of our stuff's custom, cut and sew, which means that it's not just a blank tee that we print on. Do we use blanks? Yeah, uh, I'm not a magician, if, but I use different higher quality blanks that I can find, that I research, that I sample, um, to really push the limits of what athletic gear or life gear looks like. So the fact that it seems like your guys' feedback, and hit me on Twitter, hit me on Instagram with your feedback, your testimonials, because it means a lot and I appreciate you. Um, Couple items are running low, couple tees, dad hats, uh, shorts are running a little bit low, so if you want to snag them, 3sb.co. Again, it's a back and bicep day, fam. So I'm gonna try to do um, two really good back movements, push them hard, I'm gonna warm up with some kind of upright row um, face pulls kind of things to get my delts and shoulders going. I'm gonna hit one hammer strength, one chin up, two bicep movements, two tricep movements, one with my elbow far away from my midline, one with my elbow on my midline for both movements. And that's kind of the goal, one heavy, one light. Um, heavy being dictated by the rep scheme. I'm gonna go six to eights on one of them and uh, 10 plus on the other. Proximity to failure is the goal on my hypertrophy days. So this is only hypertrophy goals. So I'm trying to push my back and arms. I want big arms. I never had big arms and I want big arms. I've been on Instagram, it's time I get big arms. So we wanna get close to failure on some of these movements. So I'll take one or two sets to warm up, get some blood going, get some volume in, and then one or two sets I'm gonna go near failure I can. Even if I'm cheating a little bit, it's okay. If I'm getting this mind muscle and I'm really feeling that muscle close to failure, uh, we'll call it mission success. So I'm gonna eat a little bit of uh, sour strips, but anything, shout out to Max for sending them over to get a little carbs in me, drink some Wawa on my new Wawa bottle, and uh, we're gonna hit the workout in probably about a half an hour. Come along with me. It's a bodybuilding arm day. Again, there's many, many ways to program your hypertrophy. Uh, Slowly gathering volume over time, a little bit more reps, a little bit more weight, proximity, how close you get to failure, you wanna push that to a nine or 10, progressively overloading over time. For me, the frequency, cause it's still kind of secondary to my strength, I wanna build my strength back, not that that won't build muscle with the compound movements, but that's a slight priority. Um, I'm just hitting kind of upper back, lats, and arms twice a week. Again, those get some, you know, non-direct work from deadlift, squat, bench, my triceps, biceps, etc. Um, but right now it's just what fits my, fits my schedule. And, and again, what is priority to you may not be priority to me. 
in life, business, family, take priority over my gym. And so right now I can fit in five days and get good work. Yesterday I didn't get in work. We had to do extra photo shoots for the launch. Uh, I had to pack um, and fulfill for the launch day, which took me, you know, five hours. It's just me and the boy Kyle going ham. And so it takes time out of my training, but that's my priority of life. If it's not your priority of life, by all means, party on, boogie on. But when I do get an hour, when I do get two hours, I like to be as optimal as I can, not only with my programming, but with my attention, um, intention and attention. Intention of a workout and attention to the workout. Very, very important. Everything you do, it's about intention. Why am I doing something? And sometimes that intention can be fun. I'm doing reverse band deadlifts because it's fun and I'm gonna do a block there and still progress. Cool, as long as you know the intent of it. If the intent is to explode your deadlift on it, well, you know, it's not necessary. But if we have the intent, if we have the goal, we have the intent, and then we have the execution. That's it for me, fam. 3sb.co, grab your clothes. My favorite fit, I was wearing my favorite fit today. I like this green. I rock the spring groove fit. I got the gray hoodie, the gray shorts. Uh, I've been living in them. I think the quality will really impress you. I hope you guys enjoy and I'm excited uh, to see you rocking them. So tag me. Twitter, Instagram, SilentMichael2Ks, twitch.tv slash SilentMike, M-I-K-K-E, four days a week. I'll see you all there.